There is an understanding, a deep wisdom of knowing that when we speak and when we bring words to life, it's not just a conversation. The vibrations that echo from conversations and what we speak are magnetized. They will forever put a ripple into the collective consciousness. Intuitive One is not just a podcast or a platform, but it's a movement and a catalyst for transformation. Through captivating interviews, thought-provoking episodes, psychic readings, and cosmic insights from astrology, we break through barriers here and we explore the limitless possibilities of the universe, intuitively as one. Intuitive One, welcome back. My name's Lauren, and I'm the host here at Intuitive One. And today I'm going to be speaking all about Gemini season and communicating intuitively throughout Gemini season. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning guest, welcome back. And let's get into it. So first and foremost, intuition is the wisdom and knowledge that goes beyond anything that our logical minds can comprehend. It is found in the fabric within awareness, and it is magical. It's ever-present. It's multidimensional. You can find it across many multiple dimensions. And it's the wisdom and knowledge that will continue on. It has always been, and it will continue on. And when we think about that with communication... You know, we're headed into Gemini season. Jupiter is going to be in Gemini this year in 2024. And so this is going to bring up a lot of conversation. People are going to be talking about a lot. People are going to be talking about the most. If you are into podcasts, I guarantee you there will be an upsurge of podcasts (laughs) this upcoming month, especially. Everybody's going to have something to say. It's going to probably feel quite buzzy. And with it feeling buzzy, it gives us an opportunity before we're there. Thankfully, that's what um, astrology can be helpful with, is kind of exploring the themes of what is to come and um, just really exploring with Intuitive One. I like to explore, obviously, these deeper concepts of intuition. And so when we think about communicating intuitively, I think one thing that's very important to recognize is... Are you able to identify and explore the energy within communications? This is going beyond the surface, but even so at the surface, are you able to really pay attention to the energetics of a conversation? So whether it be you're talking about something that is surface level, quote unquote, or something that's like philosophical and uh, very, you know, existential, which probably will come up during um, Gemini season. And so we're going to be talking a a lot about beliefs. What is right? What is truth? What is the truth of a situation or the experience, right? There's going to be a lot of expanding conversations, especially related to spirituality and Um, existential beliefs, even like extraterrestrials and, uh, you know, the outer space. And then also conversations maybe having to do with what does it mean to be lucky or having, you know, somebody feeling joyful because they had some maybe very fortunate luck come their way, which is highly likely right now with what Jupiter is doing and how he's interacting with so many other planets but when we're communicating intuitively what does that look like are you able to connect with the energy of those conversations are you able to objectively remain in a conversation while observing what's going on but also being a part of it and being able to kind of see that higher perspective, the higher reasoning for the conversation. So let me give you an example. If someone is talking to me 
about spirituality and their faith. And I'm listening. To be objective would be to not induce any kind of subjective experience into the conversation. But rather to listen and to see beyond the words. When we can see beyond what is actually being said, when we're able to really just explore what someone's body movements are doing, what body what body parts are moving, the reactions and emotions coming from the face, when we're able to like really kind of tap into that, then eventually you can get to the point where you see the energy around someone and you're able to just even, without even needing to hear the words, knowing what the message is. Intuition goes deep, right? It's, it's at the fabric of awareness. It's at the foundational elements and the foundational fabric of awareness. And this is not just within one dimension. This is not just within our thoughts and our emotions. This is also within our water cells. This is also within the cosmos. This is multidimensional across different energetic matrices. And it's the fabric within all of them. It's the wisdom and knowledge that's found within all of them. And so there's layers to this. There's layers to this stuff. But it's actually quite simple. And so when we're communicating intuitively, we're very much present and aware and objective with what we're seeing and being able to just open it up to hearing and seeing what the message is. If you're watching this on YouTube and you you mute me and I am just like talking how I'm talking, but I'm muted. I want to challenge you with, can you feel the energy that I am exuding out as I'm saying this message? That is what it means to be speaking and communicating intuitively. You're able to tap into that deeper wisdom, the deeper energy, the deeper articulation of energetic expression. But in order to do that, we have to step into the space of non-judgment, of being aware, of not being attached of the of what the other person is saying or what the conversation is, and allowing for it to have its own life while we're observing and still being a part of it. It's multi attentional. And that's another thing about intuition and being an intuitive or someone that's very um, consistently in the intuitive space is it's so important to not attach yourself to the conversation and have that multi-attentional ability. If you have the ability to be multi-attentional where you have your attention in the space and then you also have your attention in the observance space, you're able to be in a space of constant reflection. And that really is what intuition, there's a core element of that because with intuition, it's all about the observed and the observer, right? And when we kind of think about water, even we've got the light and water, we've got like what we see is electromagnetic radiation within water cells. And so there is this experience, right, of radiation and of reflection of the radiation. And when we are communicating and we've got this dual attention where we're in the conversation and then we're observing it, what's happening is there's a constant reflection. There's a constant stream of availability with the radiation where it allows for more absorption and it allows for us to be even more present with it when we have those two dual attention um, spaces. Now we don't want to dissociate. That would be having one attention somewhere else where we're disengaged. This is full attention in two different areas. I hope that makes sense. It's, it's almost like 
both of your feet, right? You've got one foot in the conversation. You've got another foot actively watching the other foot being active in the conversation compared to both feet completely over here, not in the conversation, not observing the conversation, thinking about tomorrow. That's not intuitive <laughs> communicating. The other thing is, it's very important to just really remain present and know and recognize when someone else is unpresent. The, the way that you can do that is knowing when the energy shifts. When you can observe a shift in energy in a conversation, you that's a, a great way to know that you are tapping into your intuition when you're communicating. may not be a guarantee that you know that the other person is not present. However, if you're able to observe any shifts in their demeanor, in their vocal tone, and in just the way that they're presenting themselves, um, if you are in the space of being able to see the aura, you might see a shift in the color or you might see a shift in... Um, where the radiation is coming out of the human body <clears throat> if you're in that space but any kind of shifts that will tell you maybe not so much that they're not engaged but you it's inevitably a way to know that their attention has shifted and so if their attention has shifted but yours has not that's something to be aware of one of the last themes that i want to discuss related to intuitive communicating is taking ownership of what you're saying and how you're saying it. So when we do this, we hold ourselves accountable. And this isn't to say that you have to be perfect because perfection is merely a facade that is a dissociative tactic to keep you out of the present moment. But more so just being aware and really being in tune and intentional about what you're saying and what you're speaking. When we communicate and we bring the air from out of our lungs up and out of our mouths, think about the process that that air has traveled, right? We don't really ever think about that. When we take a deep breath, all of the air particles, the life that they've lived, they're coming into our being and connecting with all of our, our cells within us, all of us, all of the parts of us that we have ever been and still will continue to be. And it fills us up. It gives us life. And as we exhale it out, we're sending it back out. And when we speak it out, when we put words and meanings on top of it's already beautiful meaning. It is so important to realize and know that when we speak, we are co-creating. That's a co-creation experience. And so how are you creating? What are you creating? How are you taking ownership of what you're creating? And within communication, when we communicate intuitively and we speak intuitively, there is intention behind it. There is an understanding, a deep wisdom of knowing that when we speak and when we bring words to life, it's not just a conversation. The vibrations that echo from conversations and what we speak are magnetized. They will forever put a ripple into the collective consciousness. Now, this messaging is not at all to induce fear or worry or hyper-awareness or anything like that. It's the complete opposite. To communicate intuitively means to be present, to be aware, and to acknowledge the power that we have when we're communicating. And so I hope that this Gemini season, this is maybe a message to help you on your journey in one way or another and peace love i'll see you in the next episode